How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're taking a look at some risers who just took it a little bit too far. They went and did some really crazy shit to their car to make their car stand out and it's just hurting the way that their car looks. It's hurting the appearance. Everyone has their own tastes and that's fine but personally I think that these mods are a little bit over the top. Anyways if you want to submit any of these posts to me send them to my gmail drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and dive right in. First car is a Ford Mustang, that's all it says. It doesn't say GT, it doesn't say V6, it doesn't say GT500. But looking at this first badge, I see it's got a GT500 badge right there. It says Shelby and everything. But the car sold for $13,000? Well, hopefully these pictures explain. Well, looking at this rear end, we got quad tip exhaust, a gigantic wing, some really cheap window louvers. Those are just cheap ABS plastic. The front end, we got the Shelby front end, the Shelby hood, fender stripes, which are a little bit nasty and what look like some offer up wheels. Now this car does look very aggressive. It looks like a wannabe track car. It looks like a car that's gonna put some record lap times in. But when you read the description and you look underneath the hood, it's not a Shelby or even a GT. This is a V6 Mustang trying to fake it as a Shelby. I feel bad for the Shelby family. Having their name plastered on pieces of shit like this is just, it's just degrading. I mean, look at this car. It looks aggressive, but you're faking it. What's the point of it? I'm all for Shelby's and I'm all for race cars, but when you go and you throw those badges on a V6, I mean, come on, man. Who are you trying to fool? Yourself? Your wallet? Your own, you know, income? Who are you trying to fool? Because if you can't afford the Shelby, don't put the Shelby badges on the V6. Hell, you can't even afford the V8. If he took off the wing, it wouldn't look that bad either. Like, it, the wing, the car itself doesn't look that bad. He did some things here and there to make it, you know, his own personal touch, I guess. But the car itself ain't that bad looking. But when you put nosebleed seats from Yankee Stadium on the back, well, yeah, it kind of hurts the way the car looks, in my own opinion. And then when you tell me it's a fucking V6, it hurts my heart, honestly. I don't know if I could look at any more of these. $13,000 it sold. For V6, I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe it's a lookalike, so people buy fake Lambos. Moving on. Next car is a 1996 Honda Civic EX Coupe two-door. Sold, actually, for $2,500. Two cars that have sold. People have gotten some really good deals, apparently, on some cars. Anyways, this one came with a very nice, good-looking body kit, sort of. Came with a really nice, vibrant paint job, that I will say. And it also came with... Those very, very exotic Lambo doors. What every Honda needs out there. Lambo doors. Honda Odyssey, Lambo door. Honda Ridgeline, Lambo door. Why doesn't, why don't Hondas come with Lambo doors? As the Instagram meme pages will have you know, Hondas are faster than Lamborghinis. Ask any 13-year-old out there. Hondas are faster. Built, not bought. You know, why spend $300,000 to look at this view? Am I right? This paint job is very vibrant. I feel like it's a decent color. I feel like it would fit right in in 2020 with the car scene the way it is. A lot of people like that depressed heart, really, I don't know, soft kind of shit. I don't know. Pink's a cool color, I guess. You know, I'm not I'm not a 13-year-old who says that pink's for girls. I mean, it's a good-looking color. I could see it on some cars, but uh, I don't know about the Honda Civic with the Lambo doors spray-painted pink. Body kit, straight out of 2004. It's in good condition, I'll give you that. 2500 bucks. I mean, you're getting a lot of car for 2500 bucks. I don't know if uh I don't know if you can handle all this car. He went the extra mile and painted his drum brakes pink. So that's very nice. I love seeing that detail in work. That's how you know it's actually built not bought. That's that detail the dealerships won't do. He doesn't show anything like underneath the hood. I'm sure for some sort of legal standings like uh, you know, you, you can't sell a super high performance car, at least not for this price wherever he's listed. So, uh I, I respect that, you know, you got to you got to abide by the law. I mean, with hood pins and everything, I mean, you, you got to imagine what kind of swaps going on underneath that hood. He doesn't show the interior either, probably because he's got some sort of nitrous gauges and all this crazy stuff going on. So, again, got to abide by the law. I respect that says it's running, has no AC, again, probably because it's a swap. I wouldn't doubt a 2JZ, some sort of RB underneath the hood. Makes sense. For $2,500, some person got a very nice car. Moving on. 2011 Chevrolet Camaro sold. Another car sold. I don't know if these were sold when I picked them or what, but every car right here seems to be sold. So these are some really good prices, people. I'm telling you. This isn't me just shit-talking cars. This is me showing people that maybe their potential dream car, and they get sold. $23,900. Now this Camaro obviously looks like it's built for some sort of time attack. We have a very aggressive front splitter. He needs four support rods to hold it up. That's a lot of downforce. Wolverine got his claws on this car. Sad to see, but this car kept on chugging, and now it found a new home. 
tire lettering, of course, on stock wheels and stock tires because it must be in some sort of stock car competition or stock car racing league. So, you know what? That makes sense. He's got his sponsors on his side, HKS. I didn't know they made Camaro parts. Says supercharged on the rear quarter panel, so that's nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to see that. Lowered lifestyle on the wing, yet it's on stock ride height. Okay. I don't know if this guy knows what he's got, because uh, this honestly just looks like a stock piece of shit. Oh, look, and it's not supercharged either. But at the same time, he's repping it like it's some sort of JDM S13 or some shit. Also an automatic, very nice to see. I'm sure the rental car company had a lot of fun with this one. Someone touched this shit with their greasy ass balls and then decided to take a picture right after. Love it. What I don't get is why he has all this goofy shit on his car if it's just a stock Camaro at the end of the day. That's what I don't get. Yeah, it's a Camaro SS. Yeah, it is a V8. But what's the point of putting all this bullshit on your car if you're not even going to touch the motor or even the wheel setup? I mean, yeah, the stock wheels aren't that bad. But at the same time, I feel like if you've got all this money for all these stickers, I mean, we're talking at least 30 bucks here. If you got all that kind of money, why not put all that into at least maybe buying half of a wheel? Let's break down really quick how much this guy probably spent on his car. Front splitter. Probably 50 bucks. Every sticker on this car, I'd say like 100 bucks. Tire lettering, 100 bucks. Big ass wing, he probably got ripped off. That was probably like 200 bucks. And that's it, because underneath the hood is stock. Not even the fucking K&N filter. Can't even do that. So he spent like what? Like maybe like 400 bucks, maybe 500 bucks at the end of the day with everything said and done. Yeah, congrats. You built one of the ugliest stock cars I've ever seen. Next car is a 2007 Ford Mustang GT Deluxe. Well, right off the bat, for $2,000, that doesn't sound like a bad price. I mean, honestly, that's, that's really low. Now let's take a look and see maybe why it's so cheap. First picture, I'm seeing a lot of custom work. An Eleanor-style hood, side dump exhaust, nice aftermarket wheels. The car itself is pretty good looking. Moving on to the front. Is that another Shelby badge? Are those snakes? The is it? It's a GT. What the? It's a GT. Why, why, why are you putting Shelby badges on a GT? I don't get it. I fucking don't get it. I don't know. It's got a fucking snake on the back. I don't get it. I don't know what people are thinking. You have a very good looking car. I wouldn't even say this car is riced out besides the fucking badges. You have a very good looking car. You have some aftermarket shit underneath the hood. You got a strut tower. You got an aftermarket intake. Some shit here and there. Nothing too major. Your exterior looks nice. Everything looks cool. But then you go and fucking ruin it with some snake badges. Because what, you wanna impress the middle-aged men at your fucking local meetup? Why? It's not an actual snake. When you pop the hood, everyone's gonna know it's not a snake. They're gonna know you didn't get the Shelby. So why are you trying to fake it like it got the Shelby? Underneath the hood, there ain't anything down here that says Shelby. Nothing underneath this hood screams Carol Shelby to me. I don't see no supercharger. I don't see no performance. I don't see jack shit. I see a three valve with some decent potential, but just ruined by the smallest amount of detail, which is a fucking fake snake badge. Two of them. I haven't seen that before. You got snakes fucking lining up to duel each other. Hell, if this is two snake badges, what is this, a GT1000? This shit ain't no GT500 no more. This is a GT500 plus a GT500. This is a GT1000, bro. Yeah, this one I don't think is really rice. You know, you can easily just buy this car and take off those badges. And you have one killer looking Mustang. Like, this thing looks pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. Besides the badges. Everything except the badges is okay. It's not my personal favorite, but I think everything except for the badges is okay. Like, nothing's really fucking offensive. It doesn't have a giant chassis amount of wing. It doesn't have a Supreme sticker on the side. Nothing stupid and cringy like that. Like, it's a pretty sleek looking car, but dual snake badges? I don't know about that one, Chief. Moving on. What's with all these Fords this episode? 2015 Ford Fusion. And fuck, I feel like some person wishes they didn't have any kids. You know what they say, the Ford Fusion is the four-door Mustang, minus the horsepower. We have what looks like a fake shaker hood. Nice, I love having that fake hood vent. You know, it's, that's great. Some really nice aftermarket lighting. That's pretty cool, actually. It looks like a Mustang. Oh, fender vents. Okay, classic Mustang right there. Rear end. Oh, yep. You gotta, you gotta let everyone know you got that Fusion. This ain't no Mustang. This is that Fusion, bro. Like, honestly, the window louvers, this guy fucking wishes he had a Mustang. You should have just bought the Mustang. Like, oh my god, really? You had to do this to the interior, too? Honey, honey, I, I, just trust me. It's going to look really cool with this rattle can that I got from Home Depot. I'm going to make this thing look fucking mint. Is it? Oh, he wrapped it in fake red carbon fiber. Even better. It's more craftsmanship. I'll give you props on that. It is a little bit harder to do, but yeah, that ain't that fake uh, red spray paint. This is that, this is that fake carbon fiber. Even better. That's really going to add some value to that car. This, okay, this is spray paint. That's 100% spray paint. Damn, he had a field day with that fucking rattle can. He got the, the, the upper grill, the lower grill. He got the fucking red stripes. This guy, 
damn man red red equals horsepower you know what they say red equals speed what's a race car without a little bit of red on it am i right have you seen ferraris they're all red that's the trick to going fast you just gotta make your car red damn and it's sold as well i this is the weirdest coincidence i've ever seen they're all sold i can't believe it and who the who the hell would buy this who would be like yeah honey i found the next car right here <laughs> this one sweetie it looks too fast do you not see all the red on it oh no no it's all for show it's all for show baby that ain't that ain't actual speed that, that, that's fake on the hood why would you want it shut up Jesus, I'm going to file up a divorce right now if you don't shut up and let me buy the car I want. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, $10,000. Yeah, someone got a winner. Last car is a 2004 Porsche Customize. I've never heard of that model before, but I'm sure it's pretty cool. $12,000 in Washington, in Win, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay, sorry. I didn't know that was an actual place. I thought it was just, you know, on the map. All right, looking at this car. Yeah, this is the Porsche Customize. Again must be a rare wisconsin model i've never heard of it before but let's take a look it's purple everywhere it's literally purple everywhere purple wheels i guess you you know unless someone's gonna say drew that's lavender actually that's that's fucking lavender drew do you not know your fucking colors it's fucking purple okay it's purple it's lavender blue whatever the hell you want to say okay it ain't red though so it ain't fast yeah honestly i mean it's, it's not a bad color like i feel like this isn't a bad color um having everything that color is a little bit bad but it, it itself i mean it, it kind of looks like a little barbie car it's kind of cute uh, it, it's for sure not like a manly color by any means like you're not going to see like i don't know a man's car painted this color like this car just screams barbie car with the leds the pink leds the the purple the body the purple wheels it just it screams barbie car i'm sure if i google barbie car i'm gonna find one like this if i find one i'll throw it in but yeah um yeah the, the porsche customized it's not really a ricer car it's just an ugly car at least he didn't fucking get the purple rattle can motor looks untouched i don't know if these porsches uh have reliability issues but uh it is german so anything you come across will cost you an arm and a leg and uh, uh you know that's just the price to play you want a german car you got german car prices this one unsurprisingly has not sold yet for twelve thousand dollars i don't know if there's a huge market for oversized barbie cars uh, it's got 130,000 miles on it, custom paint, 26-inch wheels, Jesus. He's open to trades, though. He would take a tow truck or a party bus. That is two completely different things, but <laughs> all right, man. Good luck with that. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. I'm going to try to get some super content coming your way. I was looking at buying some carbon parts for it, but they take like six to eight weeks to make and ship. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that and try to see if I can find a, a quicker way to get some parts because, you know, I'm trying to order from an actual place, not Wish.com here. Anyways, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.